the outer layer of your skin, no blood supply whatsoever. Your hands and feet have an extra layer of skin on them. Your skin is complex and it holds tension way more than most people realize. I love working deep tissue and getting into those painful knots, but even I forget sometimes that I can't get into those muscles efficiently because of the skin. It doesn't seem like it should stop you, but it absolutely will. The skin carries a lot of tension, and that tension isn't random. It follows a map, the Langer's Lines. Back in 1861, Carl Langer discovered these natural tension lines in the skin. He studied cadavers. I know, not the prettiest visual, but by observing how the puncture stretched, he was able to follow the natural direction of our skin's fibers. Now these tension lines can get affected by the stress that our skin feels every day, both internally, such as the alignment of the collagen fibers or tension in the fibroblasts, and externally, such as muscle movement, aging, stress, and injury. But these tension lines will still generally be there for everyone, so when working with people, it's crucial to know these lines, both in surgery and massage. In surgery, incisions made parallel to these lines will heal better and scar less than cuts that are just made across. Similar with massage, there's four big reasons you would want to follow these lines. The first is it helps prevent excessive stretching of the skin, which can reduce sagging of the skin over time. The second, it stimulates collagen production, boosting firmness and elasticity of the skin. It can reduce puffiness by improving blood and lymph circulation, which is especially important in lymphatic massage, and it helps the skin absorb oils and creams more effectively. So how do we actually follow these Langer lines? You can't memorize them all, but there are some general rules to follow. Work from the center outward. And when you do, work symmetrically, as one half of the body is gonna mirror the other half in most cases. You can also see these lines easier in some areas than others, such as the forehead, the hands, the wrists, and the feet. Next time you're in a massage, Pay attention to your client's skin and see if you can't notice some of these mapped out lines and check if their skin is telling you a story. And don't worry if you don't follow the lines perfectly. It's impossible to do. The skin is still going to benefit from massage. The epidermis, for example, receives no blood supply at all. It's nourished almost entirely from diffusing oxygen in the air around you. The epidermis is also made up of 90% keratinocytes, which are constantly shedding and regrowing. Massage is going to be a natural exfoliant to help speed up the process and stimulate new growth. And all of this work is going to leave the skin looking lifted and healthier, and it'll reduce the tension so we can get into those deep muscles that we're so eager to work on. And while Langer's lines follow a general pattern for everyone, everyone's map is unique. Your skin is one of a kind. It's the most outer layer of our body, and it tells a story that no other part of your body can. And your story is always yours. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more. I will see you guys on the next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day.